Yes, today we are here with the APABAS National Vice Chair, uh, Dr. Albert Wan, and uh, at this conference. So, how do you feel this morning when you heard so many speakers? I'm just really excited to see a lot of people, some of whom I have not met. Um, usually I walk in the same circle, see the same people, but they're very different uh, from all over the country. Very excited to see that uh, there's national organizations that are willing to coordinate and bringing all of them together, communicate and build a coalition for the future. Mm -hmm. I know that you've been very active involving in this uh, civic leadership and uh, also a papa, and why you are so passionate about this. Well, I think, uh, like the speaker spoke to about this morning, um, Asian Americans, and for me, particularly Chinese Americans, have not been participating that much in the political process and social engagement and philanthropy and all that. And I felt over well, almost 30 years now that I've been working on getting people more involved and understand the community and society as a whole, the mainstream and important issues for us as well as for other people. You're just talking about the important issues. So when we're talking about the important issues, what are really the important issues? Well, really important issues, you know, for, for me, you know, this may be different from person to person. For me, it's important. For example, we talked about data collection for different Asian groups. We know that um, income level disparity is the highest among Asians compared to other minorities and the majority. And that the information needs to be out, right, so we understand ourselves. And there's, there's people fighting data collection and not allowing us to understand our own community. And that is just ludicrous in my mind. Whereas Chinese Americans, you know Americans are scientific scientifically trained. Science is based on data. And you don't collect data as your anti-science. Mm -hmm. That is the basis of your livelihood, what you do for a living. So that basis, uh, that's infrastructure, knowing the data. Then how do, how do you deal with the data? What do you do with the data, right? That's another story. You worry about Harvard admission, you go fight using the wrong data for this purpose. You don't fight data collection. Mm -hmm. Now, data provides information for government to provide resources for those people who need it. Chinese Americans are not all rich. Crazy rich Asian is top 0.01% mm -hmm. of the community. A lot of Chinese Americans, Asian Americans live in poverty. They need help with language translation. You don't know how many of them don't speak English. You don't provide a language translation. And so the, maybe the Hmongs and the Vietnamese, they want language translation. You're not allowing that. So what, what does that do to your image for yourself? among everybody, this is not just among those people, among people who care about people, and that is the vast, among a vast number of people in, in the U.S. So that gives us a really bad name. Mm, yeah, that's, uh, you're so right about this, and why there are so many important issues, but people kind of ignore that? Yeah, I don't know, because uh, lately, you know, FBI director says Chinese students and, and uh, scholars are all spies. And so, well, I'm not a Chinese student and scholar, so I don't care. But do you really think the white people who live in the middle of America know the difference? That you're not a Chinese student or scholar? You may be fourth generation Chinese, mm -hmm. but you have your face. They will think you're a spy. Mm -hmm. So then all of a sudden, if you just toss out something uh, in the garbage can, they don't look good, and they call the FBI on you. Mm -hmm. So, and then you have to Sherry Chen and Wen Ho Li and all these other cases. You think that uh, people ignore the real important issues is, but is, is because of uh, uh, they didn't really see the whole big, big picture or they don't have the, uh, the, the real data? What, would the, what people don't have is historical background. They, they have never studied civil rights. Most of the Chinese Americans who immigrated in the last 40 years, including me, 46, 46 years now, would not be here if there wasn't for uh, African Americans and others who fought for us. So what, what we can learn from the history? Well, first you, know, you must know history, so you must study history. Get out of WeChat. Read books, read newspapers, read real, real news, okay? Not because Trump calls it fake news, it's fake news. Yes, there is bias in the media. You have to be able to understand the whole picture to understand where the bias is from. If you don't understand the picture and just listen to whatever is said on WeChat, you are yourself biased. There's no way around it until you get a picture of the whole society, the history, the uh, sociology behind everything, the movement, how uh, race uh, relations developed in the last 250 years. Maybe some people may say, uh, what's wrong with I am by myself? And I'm here, I'm wealthy, and I'm successful, and what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. You want to live by yourself and, and do that? Uh, well, for, I, I mean, for the whole, well, let's see the, the big picture. Um, many people, immigrants li living in this country, um, what can, can we improve? 
Well, I, I think there, that's what, that's been the at least for Chinese American that's been more or less the case, and that's why we've been here two hundred some years. We haven't really advanced very far, um, because that's how we acted and how we are treated. Um, however, the world is a little different now. I think with FBI saying that, it means basically they lack understanding of our community. And if we don't help them understand, they're not going to understand. They, they don't come to... So why, why they have this wrong information? I think that they are the people who have the data, who have the truth, who have the information, and why they get this wrong? Well, it, 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 to say that is exaggeration. It's not completely wrong. There are lots of spies here. I mean, so there are U.S. spies in China. There's Russian spies here. There are U.S. spies in Russia. Uh, the problem is the way you generalize to everybody, is particularly those of I mean, the vast majority of Chinese people are not spies, but the way you state as all of society response means everybody is responsible to monitor everybody Chinese around you and think there might be a spy. So that is wrong, and we need to correct that. But because we lack political power, we lack understanding by these leadership in our, in our country, um, we could not reverse that. I mean, imagine if he would say that to the Jewish people. He will be out of a job. Yeah, exactly. So, so I, uh, what's your suggestion that the people can do here? Well, for something like that, you must uh, reach out to them. You must, uh, first of all, you probably should uh, collect data. Again, this will be desegregated data, you know, Chinese Americans, and among Chinese Americans, desegregated data um, to, to convince them that this is not the case. Now, there are many Chinese being prosecuted, mostly economic espionage, not mm -hmm. national security, um, but there are there are significant of them, so we, whenever that does happen, some people are proven guilty. Uh, it puts a black eye on, on our community. So for those people who are doing wrong should be punished, and we agree with that. But to entire to to blame that on the entire race is is not appropriate. So exactly. So we should stand up and support each other and let our voice be heard. Yes. Thank you.